Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Now, I'm in the capital of Malta, Valletta, also the European capital of culture for 2018. And as such, this whole year is going to be chock full of events throughout both Malta and Gozo, the sister island. Now, I've been commissioned by Glossy London magazine to do a photo spread on the events that are happening when I'm here. So I can only touch on things that are happening around me, but I can give a flavor of what's going to happen throughout the year. So my brief is pretty open-ended. It's uh, basically what I think is interesting so I can get the shots of what I see. Um, I do have to think about the layout a little bit. I want a big holding shot, of course, some portraits and some drop-ins and little detail pictures, etc. Now the weather is looking a little iffy. It's up and down and all over the place, but that's part and parcel of, of shooting these kind of gigs. I have no control over that, but I have to try and work with it. So I've only been here for a couple hours. I'm hoping tomorrow to get involved in all the uh, carnival festivities that are happening around town. That includes all the floats, etc. Lots of people in, in costume, music, dancing, and lots of food. I've arrived here in Valletta at the perfect time, the most opportune time. It's carnival season, and as such, all these great floats are being put together by local people, representing sports teams and clubs, etc. Now, for me as a photographer, I couldn't ask for much more. The colors here are fantastic. Now, what I really want to try and get out of these pictures for these, of these floats is a center spread. I want that big DPS picture. Now, I'm fighting with the weather, and it's been raining off and on in the clouds. The sun's been popping out between the clouds, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get, but it's a bit of patience, which is a real big part of photography, so I'm going to go at it and try and get these images. Now, even though Valletta, the capital of Malta, is the European capital of culture for 2018, it's not the only thing on offer in Malta. It's a small island nation in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, and therefore has some stunning coastlines, like the one behind me. Now, I'm up here on a headland with lots and lots of wind, and I'm having to tuck in behind this tower. It's an old observation tower from the Napoleonic days. Just to try and record this without too much wind blowing through the microphone, no one will hear what I say. But it's, there's some great views up here and all along this coast, all the way down south and all the way north as well. Now, uh, after I finish this, I'm going to move on down a little bit and try to find a little more secluded spots. Now, there's one thing I cannot control, and that is the weather. Now, I've been dodging the rain all day today, but I'm on, I'm on good... Uh, I've been told that by this afternoon, the, sh the clouds should break and I might get some more uh, chances of uh, some more shooting down in Valletta because the carnival is still going on. I shot a lot of it yesterday, so all these big colorful floats are pushing through the, the streets of that small, narrow town. Now, they can't run the floats through the town if it's raining, because they're all made of paper mache and they'll fall apart. So at the moment, they're all covered in tarpaulins and they're all sitting around waiting, hoping that the sky will break for them. And me too, because I'm not quite finished, I think, down there in getting some still shots for my, my magazine piece. But nonetheless, this is a great spot. I love the action on the coastline. The water slamming against the rocks, offering us great big spouts of water. And it's only going to be greater when I head down south. So hoping the weather will get better, and I'm out of here. So I'm, I'm sitting here in the uh, dome of Mosta, um, massive big church, one of the most impressive in all of Malta and Gozo. It was built around the 1830s to 60s, uh, but it really reminds me of the uh, Pantheon in Rome, the, one of the last of the Roman buildings in that city. But I'm quite lucky because they're allowing me to use my tripod in here, which it doesn't happen normally. For instance, in the, uh, the Cathedral of St. John in Valletta the other day, no tripod, so everything was handheld, meaning I had to shoot really high ISOs, so I was probably going to run into some noise problems there. Now, there's about 360 plus churches in Malta and Gozo, so that means about one per day for the year, so if that's what you're really into, well, go for it. Now, from here, I'm going to go to Emdina, which is a medieval city sitting on top of a hill not far from here. And I've been there before, and it's pretty impressive. Now, the weather is playing its part on me. I'm getting skunked here and there by the weather, actually, and it's getting a little annoying. However, I do have an ace up my sleeve. I've been here before, and therefore I've got a pretty good selection of images um, from the last time. Now, the, uh, the designation of European Capital Culture for 2018 is a year-long thing. 
So even though those other, those other pitchers are from the summertime, they can still play their part. It takes a little bit of the pressure off to try and get every single picture. Now, this is my fourth day here, and I've had to add an extra day because I know I'm not getting what I need, and I need to try and get a little more. The weather says it's gonna be better tomorrow, and let's hope so. So I spent about an hour, hour and a half uh, at this old wreck of a ship here that's been piled up on the rocks in a storm the other night. Now, it's been quite interesting. I've never really shot stuff like this before. Um, so different angles, uh, different lighting conditions because the sun's popping in and out constantly. So, you know, it's a bit of a challenge at times. Um, but uh, the sea spray is great too. I just like the way that it's the, the, the water splashing up against the side of the ship and we're on the rocks beside it. So it's been an interesting thing to do. Now, it, I probably can't really afford the time to do this because I'm supposed to be shooting a story about Valletta and the uh, European capital culture. But hey, it's a wrecked ship. Why wouldn't you look? What a difference eight hours can make. Last night before I went to bed, the wind was howling so hard that I thought the trees were gonna come down. But not this morning. It's nice and calm, which is fantastic because today I want to go to the sister island of Gozo, which is separated by a small channel of water. But the winds have been so heavy the last few days that the ferry has been very intermittent, maybe once or twice a day. But today though, I think it's on a regular schedule, which is fantastic because I'm gonna get over to Gozo and I'm gonna get some great images. Well, so much for a nice clear day here in uh, Gozo, uh, the sister island to Malta. It was nice and sunny this morning, but this big storm just blew in and it has completely soaked me. Now, I completely anticipate getting wetter as the day goes on, but nonetheless, even though the weather's really kind of really, really blustery, I am getting some nice atmospheric pictures, which I'm quite happy about because it's adding to the story, adding to the layers of the story. Now, as you can see behind me, we're right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, this nice blue azure water, a great sea cave in behind me. So it's great. I'm really happy with the pictures we're getting. I just wish I wasn't quite so wet. I've uh, just finished at Amdina. Um, this was the medieval capital of, uh, of Malta uh, until it moved to Valletta. And then the city emptied out, and then since then they've sort of called it the silent city because there's no voices, apparently. But there's lots of tourists here now, but still it's a stunning place. Fantastic for pictures. The light is fantastic. The stone, the color coming off the stone and this bright sunshine is amazing. Now, the weather gods are cooperating with me right at the moment, but the wind is still pretty incessant, so that's causing slight problems for the recording. But I'm getting my pictures. Now, I'm almost, in my head, I'm almost finished with the layout section of it. Now, the only thing I'm thinking about now is how it's gonna work with, uh, with the, uh, the guys on the desk, you know, the, uh, not just the editors and the layout guys, but also the, um, the ad sales guys, which is something that you have to take into account because these guys have to sell ads in order to produce the magazine and therefore sometimes our pictures are pushed to the side a little bit because of the ad space so hopefully that won't happen too much to 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 this piece but um who knows um it's been really good so far apart from that uh, kind of fighting with the weather the whole time but it looks like it's turning good and tomorrow's supposed to be a great day um, tomorrow i'm going to a place called burgu which is part of what they call the three cities near valletta and i'm hoping to finish up there tomorrow again with nice sunshine one, one hopes and uh, we'll see what we get. And I think that's where we're gonna end it. I'm in Burgu, it's the end of this job and the weather is finally cleared up. The wind is gone, the clouds are gone, the rain is gone. And this is making things so much better for us, for me for this last day. It's been a really great trip, a uh, really great job. I think I've got most of what I need. Of course, you know, you never get 100%. That's just the way, the nature of this, this work. Um, I've covered, the progress has been good. I've covered, I think, most things I'm gonna need uh, for a magazine spread, from the big, the big shots, to the drop-in pictures, to this, the little detail shots, to the more interesting pictures, to really tell the story of this, of this country and this city. 
Uh, the, uh, it's, it's no wonder that Vallette has been named the uh, European Capital of Culture for 2018. So that's it for me. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And tell us what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And don't forget to drop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Mm -hmm.